All right, we're here. And the snow is coming down a little bit. About the same as it was at the house. All right, let's go food shopping. I've got myself a nice cart here in the cart section. I got everything I wanted. Now let's go get the bad news. Well, that was a hundred dollars. And the snow seems to have flowed way, way down to almost nothing. That's good. All right, I'm home now, 4 a.m. Got all of my groceries that I wanted to get. And now I gotta put them all away. It is not currently snowing outside. And the temperature has dropped down to 31.9 degrees. So I very much hope that things won't be a great big mess out there when I gotta make that across the town trip to the pharmacy at 10 a.m. I just hope it's not gonna be a mess. Gonna have another cup of coffee before I make some kind of breakfast here in a little bit. All right, it is now going on nine o'clock in the morning. And I've just kind of been relaxing at home here. Uh, haven't had any rain or snow, but it's still really cold outside and the snow that's out there is still frozen solid. And uh, so I'm, I'm gonna be leaving the house here at probably 9.30ish to get to the CVC, um, CVS uh, pharmacy by 10 o'clock. And usually there's a lot of people standing there waiting, so I could go maybe a little bit later, but I just want to go and get it over with. So behind me, I've got, let's see if we can, I don't think we can see that, but behind me on the stove, I just started a pot of oatmeal, small pot of oatmeal, and I'm about to have my breakfast, which is going to consist of my lovely scrambled eggs and toast and oatmeal. And I might put a banana in in the oatmeal. I'm not sure if I'm going to be quite that hungry. But that's going to be my breakfast. And then we'll come home later on and have some kind of a lunch. Uh, 11 or 12 or something. I'm, I'm not even sure if I'll be hungry again. I've kind of held off on eating. So maybe I can even go without lunch today and just snack on some peanuts or something like that. So one thing I wanted to talk about that I meant to talk about um, a little bit earlier this morning, and that is I've gotten a few comments on uh, people say, what in the world are you doing getting up at 12 midnight or 1 o'clock or 1.30 in the morning? And that's certainly a fair question. That's kind of out of the ordinary. And the fact is that in my last two jobs, going all the way back to 1994, I worked the graveyard shift at uh, the last two places that I worked. Uh, get up at around midnight and <clears throat> head into work uh, around one, two o'clock and just get the job done as a baker. So I, uh, it's been kind of inconvenient having the graveyard shift, but at the same time, I, I kind of enjoy it. But I really thought when I retired in November that I would be able to easily kind of break that habit and start staying up later and sleeping in later. And it hasn't worked out that way. And I haven't really tried to, to make that happen because uh, it doesn't really honestly matter. But I would like to get more, you know, towards a, you know, six in the morning till 10 o'clock at night type thing and uh, more or less nine to five. 
but right now it's I'm usually up 16 to 17 hours a day I go to bed around 6 o'clock at night or try to shoot for 6 o'clock at night and be up by about 2 in the morning but oftentimes like this morning I wake up at, at noon or at midnight pardon me and um, so I'm trying to stick to that six to eight hours, you know, a night's sleep. That's the reason why um, everything is, my schedule is kind of screwed up. I Hopefully as spring gets here, maybe I can be out a little bit later, you know, in the day, enjoying the day. The days will certainly be longer and I can start to work towards staying up later at night and sleeping in more during the day. Can I go make those scrambled eggs and have a good breakfast? And then we're going to head to CVS Pharmacy across town.